Alright, my fellow knights, welcome to part two of how to make the captain's challenge slash tutorial of Pokemon layouts. I'm sorry if I don't explain things good enough because I'm not very good at English. <laughs> Even though that's my first language. But, um, so we're, we stopped here and this is a long battle, man. Oh god, I'm gonna need more... Usually Cynthia's music is enough for the entire battle, but it looks like I need to put in more, so let's put that one in. And then I usually like to end it with the Emerald Battlefront. Wow, that's not even going to be long enough, and I need a longer clip. Because I don't like cutting off tracks, it's not fun. Oh my god, that's a short one. I love Garatina's music, though. Oh, let's see here. What's a long one? Uh, oh, that'll work, I guess. I guess we can have... Nah, I don't like Minutes of Silence. I guess I'm gonna have to cut one off. Usually I cut off the Emerald Battlefront. So, where's Garatina's music? I just saw it. Where'd it go? My eyes! Oh, oh, there it is. Alphabetical. Alright, now we're just gonna audio drop those. Because we don't want the music to be more powerful than, uh... My voice. So we got those now. So the music's all ready to go. And now we can start the battle part. Now, <laughs> it might get a little complicated here. But, uh, we're gonna manage. So, but the first thing I need, before we start any of this, I need my opponent's name. So, I have a little card like this, since it's, and then I need to get rid of that. Alright, so this is how the Captain's Challenge works, exactly. I name everything, just like something simple, so you know what you're using. But everything has to be a ping image. So, every, I'll show you why, because I'm gonna slide a lot of things. So I don't need that, I need this smooth. And then my name. Uh, combined. Basically showing you what I do every day. <laughs> or every time I have to edit the captain's challenge. It's probably my favorite thing to edit. So we gotta import more media. So we have that now. But I can't use that yet. So looks like in the battle, Manetric comes out first. So, knowing that, okay, close that out. I need to refresh that. Manetric. So here's what you're gonna do. You have this. Well, you have your layout. And now you have, you have everything hidden except for the Pokemon uh, card, I guess you wanna, I'll, I'll call it a card. So the card, you're gonna drag uh, your image. Uh, I like to flip it. And then you're just gonna try and position it inside the card. So I like that right there. So I'll take my magic wand tool. And I gotta bring this back over here. And square one is what I called it. It'll select it. Then you wanna hit layer VI. Oops, wrong button. You wanna hit Manetric or whatever Pokemon you're using, hit layer VIA copy, delete the original, and now he's in the card. So next, you wanna say file save, and I usually do my Pokemon one. And, oops, ping. Everything has to be a ping image. Now, if Manetric were to faint, here's what you wanna do. You have to hold on to your layer, and then you have to hit black and white, or any option that makes it black and white. Then you merge the layers together, and then uh, you'll make the card. But Manetric Mega evolves instead, so we're gonna get rid of him there. And we're gonna take out Mega Manetric's art, flip it the other way, and shrink it. So let's, I'd say that's roughly good. So you gotta repeat this process for every Pokemon. It's a bit tedious, but you know. So file save as my Mega. Now, you can name it whatever you want, this is just what I named them. Everything must be a ping, though. Keep that in mind. So next, I'm going to combine these together. 
file, save as my mega gray. That's usually what I do. Then save, and then we have all our little Manetric cards here. I'm gonna put them in the Pokemon Battle folder, and then we can get rid of that and put down to the next one. But our opponent is also throwing out a Pokemon, so I'll hide that for now. So back to Camtasia. This is a very lengthy process. Import all this. So as Manetric falls in, I want my Pokemon 1. So see, the layout from uh, here is matching the same thing here. Pretty much so. Like everything is gonna look the exact same as if it was in Photoshop. Except things are gonna slide in and move at different intervals. So now we have Manetric, so I'm gonna drag him off the screen. You can still see him there, and just make sure he's lined up perfectly. Uh, view properties, add animation, then you just slide him back in. And then I'm gonna shrink this down a bit. And I wanna when he falls in, I'd like him to come in. So it'll happen like this. He'll slide right in. However, sometimes I like it longer, but I think that'll do. Let me see. Uh, okay, I want it to start there. A little longer. Perfect. So now that I have that animation, I will copy paste that multiple times. But I'm gonna drag this to the end of the video. To roughly there. So we have Manetric in here now, and then I'm just gonna drag the video along, and out comes Dermanitan. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Now I'm not gonna show you this process like 20 times, so don't worry. I'll cut in. Oh, wrong picture. I'll cut in when I'm done doing it, but just so you get the idea, I'm gonna do it one more time. So we have Dermanitan here. We'll make him decently sized. We'll. Put him like that, I'd say. Magic wand tool. And layer VI copy. So we have Darmanitan right there. Oopsies, wrong button. Save as. Uh, I call them right Pokemon. One, so ping. And then, okay, then black and white. So when they, oopsies. So when they um, f uh, fall in battle, uh, damn it, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons today. Um, what's it called? When they fall in battle, they'll turn a different color. So you know they're out. And that's really all there is to it. However, I'm gonna, there's a couple more uh, niches to the captain's challenge that I'm still gonna show. However, I'm gonna need to cut out in a couple seconds so I can finish up the battle with all the transition slide-ins. So now we have Darmanitan. We're gonna do the same thing, just on the opposite side. Add animation, slide him in. So, we gotta make sure everything's all lined up. There we go. Zoom in a bit. We want him to come in. Like right there, should be perfect. Now let's watch him come in. Yep. So that's perfect. Now what I'm gonna do each time a new Pokemon comes in, I'm gonna drag them, well I guess I could sh I'll show that, just so everybody understands. Okay, so I need to drag this all the way down here. Now my friend is gonna switch out immediately because I remember doing this. Uh, actually, I switch out. So, my Pokemon's gonna switch out, and I'm gonna bring out Gyarados. So, roughly we'll stop there. I need this. I need to get Gyarados's image. And then stop that there. Gyarados. We'll flip him. Now, I just want Gyarados's head. I want his entire jaw in there. His jaw is weird. There. 
perfect. So same thing we did. Just copy. So Gyarados is in there now. Save as. Um, what am I saving it as again? Damn. <laughs> My Pokemon 2. So ping. Now I know Gyarados doesn't faint, so I don't need to make an extra card. But for the sake of the video, I will make it anyway. So that's what Gyarados would look like if he fell in battle. My Pokemon 2 gray. So ping image, desktop. Just like that. Then we go back to the editing software, import media again. My Pokemon 2, my Pokemon Gray. So there's he is. So I'm going to slide him just off screen. Then I'm going to come back here and copy the animation. So now it goes as fast as Manetric came in, and now this happens. So he slides right in there. And then I'm just going to make this long. Wow, this is a nice long battle. Wow, that's like almost a 20 minute battle. Jesus. Must have been a good one. Oh, I will upload this battle afterwards, guys. So if you want to see it. But, okay. So, that's almost it. Um, I'm going to save this real quick. There is one more thing I'm going to do before I cut out. And that's um, with the transition above. Oh, wait. I totally skipped it. My bad. So before, okay, Gyarados, you need to go like up two notches. I did something wrong, so sorry. Had to remember, so roughly like here, I wanna put little transition cards in. So I wanna drag this roughly here. Visual properties, add animation, we'll have it slide this way, okay. Then we're gonna do the same thing with me. We're gonna bring it over here, roughly. Add animation, slide that way. Oh, come on, line up. There we go. Now I gotta zoom in real far for this one because this one happens fast. So. I want that faster, so we'll put it to about there. And then. rid of those then we have combined on the bottom and then we have verses up top so everything transitions in nicely so I use glow and glow need to be a fast glow right over that then we have them fade in like that just make it quicker and this is what happens look up top just like that so they fade in they come out of nowhere pretty much and fade in. And just like that. So that's pretty neat. So now that that's done, going to give them a little random dissolve at the end. And just stretch them out. All right, now I'm gonna go repeat the same process until one of us Mega evolves, and then I will show how I uh, transition the Megas in. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the beginning part of the Captain's Challenge. But, in case you guys just want to see me do it anyways, I'm gonna time-lapse it real quick. So, uh, time-lapse begin.
Alright, so there's one thing I forgot before Mega Evolution is to show you how um, uh, Pokemon faints. So, just gotta line it up correctly. So, like here. So, when you start seeing the particles, I usually just cut it and then write Pokemon 3, gray. And then we have it fade in. Simple as that. So watch it. All right, so there goes his color. So now he's gone. And I think that's it till Mega Evolution. So I'll uh, keep rolling the time lapse.
All right, so um, now it's time for Mega Evolution. So I gotta go find my Netrix line here. Uh, here he is. All right, so what you're gonna want to do is about when the ball of energy bursts, you want to like right there. So I'm gonna cut that and go to my mega, my mega. So right here, he's up top there now and we're just gonna glow him in. That's pretty much it, that's simple as hell. All right, so watch up. All right, so that's what happened. Now, if your video seems like it's lagging, it's just the editing software can't take so many uh, layers. It will not affect on how it renders out. Promise. I promise. All right, so we have the Mega Evolved Minetric now, and I'll have to do the same thing when Sableye comes out. But other than that, I'm going to just keep continuing the time lapse because it's pretty much all this is all I do is keep sliding the cards in and transitioning in and out. All right, back to the time lapse. All right, guys. Well, I finally got all the, got everything done, I believe. I think none of my, wow, I 4 0 Jeff. I thought it was a 3 0. Um, so everything transitions out now. And now we're at the end of the battle. So I think, let me look to see what I'm going to do here. I got to watch this. Okay, so I was a bit off, so I want a roughly there for everything to come. So I gotta extend all these, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, just... Wow, there aren't... Yeah, this is a lot of layers. Alright, now that everything is there... No, there's one. Where's the music? It's right here, so... Probably wanted to cut there. That's actually worked out in my favor, so now... 
Yep, so that works. This has to get extended. And this is the audio clip. So I need to cut that, but first I need to go back to Photoshop for one more thing. So here's the ending card. So I won that one. So 31 to seven losses, not bad. So let's just get rid of Chandelier right here. And the finest of work I think goes to Florgus. So I will put Florgus here. Right there. And then blending options, drop shadow, distance. Yep, pretty. Alright, so this can be saved as a JPEG or ping. I will use JPEG. So we're done with Photoshop now. We don't need that. Don't need this. We can put that in here. So import media. So the ending card needs to do the following. Needs to. I need to put it all the way up here. And I need to size it to the correct amount of this card. So it looks like it'll flip in. All right, there we go. So we have that. So we can separate video and audio here. So video there is gone. So this should flip and then I'm gonna need this to flip so line that up correctly so they're flipping at the same time but this one's going to nothing so it'll look like this all right perfect so now final animation just drag it over here and then just large it up to the size of the screen then I just want to take that and drag it there make sure it goes pretty quick Yep, that should be just right. Then I'll just shorten that so rendering takes a little less. So, yeah, it looks like that's almost it. We just gotta transition out. So, let's just come to the right there. Audio, fade out, transition, fade. Oh, you gotta drag this all the way over there. So now this will play and then it'll fade out like this. Just like that. So that's it. That's the captain's challenge in a nutshell. It, oh, you know, no, 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 I forgot one thing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I gotta get all these cards now to transition out. I for completely forgot, my apologies. So right, mega, so visual properties, add animation, then you just slide them off the screen. Just like that, then copy. Then we probably just want to put it at the end there. So now, my mega, there's another one. My mega four, my mega right Pokemon, there we go. Right Pokemon three. My Pokemon, that's, I know that's Jellicent. What is that one? My Pokemon, there's another one. All right, so now they're all transitioning out. Now I need to hide this layer, but remember to put that layer back. Oopsies, no, that's what I want to do. I hit add animation. So now I just drag my side off, just like that. Then I hit copy and then bring that back. And now that it does that, just Fill in all the extra stuff that doesn't have a transition out. And now everything should come out nicely, but it will lag in editing, but it'll look smooth when it's rendered. All right, perfect. So the last thing that we need to do is get a thumbnail for this. However, I need the video to render first. So this is probably got cut up into two parts. We'll s I'm not sure, but um, yeah, everything here is done. We've done everything for the captain's challenge. So when the video is done rendering, I will cut back in and we will, well, I'll show you how I make the thumbnail and 
that'll wrap up the captain's challenge video